News 2 is your local election headquarters, and Senator Lindsey Graham says he's going to follow the advice of doctors and not his opponent, Jamie Harrison, who wants Graham to be tested before tonight's debate, tested for COVID-19. Harrison said in a statement that Graham should follow the advice, an example, rather, of Vice President Mike Pence, who got tested right before his debate with Kamala Harris. Harrison says he's concerned about putting his family and his campaign workers at risk. Now, Graham says that Harrison is demanding special treatment and that he took a COVID-19 test just after the Judiciary Committee hearing last week. The Graham-Harrison debate airs right here on News 2. News 2's Danielle Hensley is live at Charleston County Elections Headquarters for us this morning. And Danielle, this is the second debate for the Senate race here in South Carolina. Octavia, we can expect both candidates to address national issues like COVID-19, but they're also going to talk about local and state issues. News 2's Carolyn Murray will be a panelist for tonight's debate that is airing right here on News 2. Candidates will answer questions from you, the voter. You can submit a question by emailing scresponds at wspa.com and using the hashtag SCSenateDebate. We expect Graham and Harrison to speak about the Supreme Court nomination hearings set to begin Monday. You made a promise to the American people, and even more, you made a promise to the folks in South Carolina that you wouldn't be doing what you're doing right now. Ms. Barrett's going to get confirmed because the president has the constitutional authority to do it. Tonight's debate starts right here on News 2 at 7 o'clock and is expected to last about an hour. Reporting live from the Charleston County Election Headquarters, I'm Danielle Hensley. Count on two.